Hello and welcome to Korean in 5, where we take 5 minutes out of your day and me, George Trombley and Sonny입니다. Sonny will teach you some Korean. Okay, let's do this. This is the last in our big series called The Basic Form, which is the most important thing you're going to learn, honestly, in the beginning book. It's very important. This is from section 6-4 of Korean from Zero. And as you can see, we have worked through the first four rules and now we're on the last rule, which, by the way, is one of the most complicated, although it's not that bad. So we're going to learn some new words here. Here we go. 나쁘다. To be bad. One more time. 나쁘다. Now, if you hear a little bit of a stress on the middle, right? A mm -hmm. little bit of a stress because it's got the double biup. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, how do you say that, by the way? Double biup is what? 삼비읍? 삼비읍. 삼비읍. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, say it again. To be bad. 나쁘다. All right? Now, let's be happy. 기쁘다. I want you to notice the only difference is the first character here is a na, mm -hmm. and the second character here is a ki, mm -hmm. right? So, what's to be sad? 슬프다. 슬프다. All right, good. And a weird, totally unrelated <laughs> word, to scratch. 긁다. 긁다. And look, you notice it has double, uh, a 겹받침 on the mm -hmm. bottom, a ril and a kyo. All right, so let's look at the first one, which was, uh, what was it? It was to be bad. What was that in Korean? 나쁘다. 나쁘다. Perfect. And we're going to jump down and we're going to say what? Now, there's two. There's 나쁘 before the 다. Mm -hmm. You have to remember to always look at the last. The last character after removing the 다. Mm -hmm. It ends in a 으. Mm -hmm. So you look. Jump all the way down. Okay, it's rule number five. Does it have a 받침? No. No. So now we have to look. It says change final vowel to 어. But there's an exception. If the prior character, which is the na, has either an a or an o, mm -hmm. then it does not change to o. It changes to a. a. Okay? You will eventually remember this, but you always have to pay attention to it. So basically, na pu da becomes na pa. Na pa. They kind of rhyme, right? Na pa. A goes to a. Very easy. All right? For example, we could say this sentence. 선이는 나빠요. Yes, I say this all the time. One more time. 선이는 <laughs> 나빠요. All right. Next one. Let's look at to be happy. 기쁘다. 기쁘다. So, now this has the same p, mm -hmm. right? But it doesn't have a na. This time it has a ki. Ki. So, we look at it. Okay, it's rule number five. Does it have a pachim? No. No. So, change the final vowel to a. Mm -hmm. But if the prior character has an a or an o, which oh. it doesn't. It doesn't, so you just leave it mm -hmm. as changed to oh. oh. So what does it become? 기뻐. 기뻐. So you could say, Sony is happy. Sony는 기뻐요. Sony는 기뻐요. Very good. All right, now let's look at the sad one. Here we go. 슬프다. 슬프다. All right, so does it have, what is the, the final uh, vowel of the last character is? Mm. Uh. So does it have a 받침? Mm. No. It doesn't. Now the one before it does, mm. The first character does, but that has nothing to do with this rule. You always use the final vowel, okay? So we end up with, let's see, look at look at the rule. Um, does the last, the first character, if the prior character has an A or an O, change the, nope, doesn't have that, so it becomes 슬퍼. 슬퍼. So for example, oh, I forgot to change this, sorry, it says happy, but we should say sad here. It's Sony is sad is 선이는 슬퍼요. 선이는 슬퍼요. The reality is Sony is always happy. Right? <laughs> All right, final one. This is the tricky one because we have. 긁다. 긁다. This has got a pachim and everything, right? All right, so you look at it. Doesn't matter if it has a gil pachim at all. You still say, what is the final vowel? It is. 으. Right? So does it have a pachim? Yes. So you just add. 어. Becomes. 긁어. 긁어. No change, right? There is no prior character to even look at, so that exception rule doesn't even take place. If there is no prior character, you don't even consider the exception. So we could say, Sony always scratches her arm. There it is, one more time. All right, there you go. If you'd like to learn more Korean, please download our free book at koreanfromzero.com. It is absolutely free. And if you'd like a beautiful printed edition, you can get it from amazon.com. We'll see you next time on Korean in 5. Bye-bye.